We had Tom Stewart, the governor, Bill Raffle, Bertie Hodge, Lenny Fitzpatrick, and a couple of others that were bookies that were a little group. And there was a fair bit of gambling going on in the games in those days. There was two big supporters of the club, but they were both bookmakers. There was Tommy Stewart and Bill Dooley. Every club seemed to have a little group of bookmakers following them. It was because Sunday football. No races Sunday. Great, we can come to the football. Every time we had a big win, Tommy Stewart, um, and it would be announced, and he'd, and he'd just take over. $1,000 for the players, $1,000 for the club. And back in the late 60s, early 70s, that was a lot of money. One day at Port Melbourne, Tom Stewart, the governor, he came to me and, and, and he used to talk in racing talk, the way, the way they talk on the racetrack. I'm not a race person, but the way they were. Every time wherever races were on, we'd go, and, um, and Tommy Stewart would always give you over the odds because he fielded as a bookmaker there. He said, uh, we've got a bit of money on this today. Yep, I thought you might have. He said, I've got pretty good odds. Yeah. He said, there's a monkey in it for the boys if they win. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thanks, mate. That's great. So, OK, I went out. This chap came over to me after about the fourth match. Nice coat on, nice suit and tie, and shook me hands. And, you know, there was something in me hand extra. And I thought, mm, that's a bit strange. I said to Kelly Brent, he's in the next room. I went into Kelly and said, What's a bloody monkey? That was Werribee Cup Day. And um, I'd, I'd had a couple of little wins, so I, I'd up the ante a bit. And um, I was having a $10 bet. And in those days, $10 was a fair amount of money uh, on a horse in the Werribee Cup. And I went up to Tommy and said that. He said, a monkey what? An animal? <laughs> nah, I'm talking money. What's a monkey? He said, $500. I said, $500? Bloody five hundred dollars? Yeah, why? I said the governor's promised it to the boys if we went. I left it for five minutes. I went over to see Max Papley, and I said, "Oh, Max, don't look now, but that chap over there in the coat and suit and tie just, you know, shook me hands." And he said, "Oh, don't worry about it. I'll tell you later." I forget the name of the horse I want to back. Anyway, um, Tommy says, "Okay, half seven, ten dollars on Brookby Hill," and that wasn't what I'd picked. So I went out and I said, Tom, come back. I said, do you want to tell the boys that before they go? Before they go out? We all need yeah, why not? So he gets up and he says, boys, we've got a bit going on this today. He says, there's a monkey for you. You can have it. You can use it any way you like if you win. OK, at seven to two, he had it shown five to two. And a duly won by three lengths, bolted him. And, I, and that was the sort of guy he was. But he never did tell me what was going on, but it was extra. I don't know whether I should mention it, but <laughs> it was extra payment, you know, which I did get a couple of times that year, you know. And poor Dad Skilton playing, this is when Skilts came back for a few games, Brass. They had a pretty good team, and it was Willie, well, you know, Terry, Willie Port Games, and we flogged them at Port, we flogged them. And they, they got the governor up after the game, and they cheered him. It was amazing, just amazing.